So I said it was the last video, but uh, someone had a question about the stickers, and I guess I really never went over them. Uh, so, my stickers probably aren't up to code. Uh, I've been through the code book, and depending on what version you're looking at, it will determine which stickers you need for uh, your solar installation. But I paid... Uh, um, I paid a company to do the engineering drawings for my installation. That's what I submitted to the city uh, when I got my permit. So when he came out to do the inspection, he wanted the stickers to match what the engineering drawings said. Uh, don't necessarily completely agree with what the engineering drawings had on them but those are the stickers I purchased and I placed them where the engineering drawings told me to place them and like I said if you look at the code book not necessarily accurate so uh, this data that I have here is just based off of what was uh, the data from the solar panels so the short circuit current operating current and then the voltage the operating and the max voltage was based off of the calculations of add, adding the 10 panels together this one I kind of do agree with uh, this has to be marked uh, on, on the distribution boxes and on the conduit every 10 feet this one I don't agree with. They had it in my engineering drawing. My panels are not on the roof and they're not equipped with a single rapid shutdown switch. There's not module level rapid shutdown on these panels. It's not really required, but it was in my drawing and the inspector wanted it on the panels, so there it is. Uh, other than that, conduit is marked before it goes into the ground conduit is marked where it comes out of the ground they wanted the boxes marked boxes marked and then under the house where the conduit runs uh, every 10 feet there's a warning photovoltaic power source on that conduit we'll go around to the other on these boxes these warning labels warning you that this can be backfed uh, with solar that makes sense to me uh, in other words even if I pull this meter on the house side of that meter connection I could still have a hundred well 240 volts so you need to know that. Uh, here, again, terminals could be energized, power source, and <laughs> they wanted this on on uh, this panel as well. Same same situation as the other one. Same thing. They wanted this. Uh, this one was supposed to be here, just like the other panel and this one was in the drawing 50 amps 240 volts back fed uh, main photovoltaic system disconnect again not necessarily saying those are accurate for code but that was what was on my engineering plan and in here This label, again, the same as the, the label that was on the solar panel, the distribution panel. And I placed it here just because this is the disconnect for the solar panels. Rapid shutdown switch, which is located here. So it does have a rapid shutdown, but you would have to be able to get into my house to push the button. Uh, 
these I guess they could have been anywhere on here I just placed them here power source which that is by code they have to be the panels have to be marked that have those uh, lines feeding from the panel terminals can be energized and again the disconnect which obviously there is a, a disconnect in here conduit box is marked because those lines run through it the conduit that uh, runs the runs the lines from the solar panels solar panel lines run through this one so that is the labeling like I said according to the code it is not perfect and uh, I placed them based on what was in my engineering drawing and I ordered them from an online retailer uh, and I ordered the ones that uh, were in my engineering drawings that's all that the inspector wanted to see so uh, I would say that if you're getting you know if, if you're pulling permits and getting this all inspected depending on your city it would be a good idea to talk to them or do like I did and I had someone basically I paid them like five hundred dollars to do the engineering package to submit to the city and then all they wanted was to see that everything actually matched the engineering drawing so that's it that is the stickers for what they're worth